All right, let's play a multiplayer round. Starting out, we're going to go with the Cloud Breaker, which is a DD3. On a forehand, a buddy of mine, Sage Man, he swears by this disc, so I'm trying it out again. It is really straight and sneaky distance, so I think it might stay in the bag. He slays with it. He just got uh, top 10 in the league, and it's his favorite disc of the game. So we'll try it out. Works well on that hole. Here we're going with the warship. We're just going to lay up around the Mando. I've been playing around on this hole a lot, and there's really no need of challenging that first fairway. Um, just get around the Mando and then take something like the Sapphire. Use that for your approach shot. Yeah, I was trying to go further up that first fairway to see if I could get a better look and maybe some benefit, but it's really, really not there. And here we're going to go three big drives with the glide skip. And you do want to challenge this first corner more than I just did there. Otherwise you'll bang into this rock or you might even end up on the fairway of eight below, which is a shortcut, but if you're not intending to do that, um, it, it might not work out well for you. So that's the second shot with the glide skip, and then we got one more to go to get up this hill. I think they did drop the elevation on this, but it's still... A, Good size climb. And here we're going to go with the glide skip, rive. And I really like the forehand play here. If it's a three wind out of the left, I'll go with the backhand. But other than that, most of the time, I really prefer the forehand. If you've been going backhand only, give the forehand a try. See if you like it. Uh, I think it sets up nicely for it. And closed out the eagle. Here we're going to go glide skip recoil. I'm probably one of the few that use that disc and particularly use it on this hole. But it usually works very well. I got kind of caught up in some grass there. But it's usually much closer. But even within 100 feet and I'm, I'm, I'm happy. As you get to a point, and hopefully you will, where anything under 100 feet is almost a gimme. And with this win, we're going to go with the light glide drive. We can actually drive the green. Uh, if it's if it was a two win, I'd be a little worried about it pushing it too far to the left. But wasn't too worried about it. And then remembered that it is possible to not only drive the green, but go all the way across this island into the water. Fortunately, I didn't do that, so left myself a little 95-footer for the eagle. And I like the glide skip recoil here. It usually does a very good job, and this is not great. It's a, That was a that was a combination of poor execution and a little bit of a bad break. Mostly poor execution, though. But it usually, usually fits this hole very nicely. And uh, here I'm just checking the wind, I think. I was like, what's the wind again? But with that three headwind direct at you, you need to take off some power. Because it definitely will lift the disc. And here we're going to go accurate windbreak musket. Just aim somewhere up to the right. Lots of hyzer. There's no collision in that tree except for the, the, the branches themselves. So, And even those seem to have, for the most part, minimal collision. So, And we're going to go sapphire here on a forehand. This is often a tap-in. A very nice uh, distance. 
Now we're going to tap in to complete the round. Pretty decent. Uh, what, 1139? So, hope you uh, learned something, and we'll see you around the valley.